Hi, this is Brad Brown, and I have a simple object lesson that I sometimes do in my magic programs, and I'd like to share it with you. I like this because it's very easy to do, and in fact, while I'm doing it, I'm actually teaching the kids how to do it so they can go out and show their friends, and when they do, they're sharing a very simple presentation of the gospel. It's not really magic, it's actually a paper tear, but there's something magical about the end of it. In fact, it's not uncommon for people to actually audibly gasp at the end of this, even though nothing really magic actually happened. Now, first I'm going to show it to you basically the way I do it in performance, and then afterwards I'll show you a few pointers that might help you when you present it to people. Now, all you need is a piece of paper, and I'm using a yellow piece here just because it looks better on camera, but whatever, you, whatever you've got works fine. Now, I would like to show you how to make a magic paper airplane. Now, most planes start out something like this. But not this one, no, this is a magic airplane. So you take the top and fold it all the way over the side like this. After that, you take the point and fold it all the way down over there so it looks a little bit like a house. After that, it's like a normal airplane. You just fold it in half and fold the wings down. Now there is one thing a little bit different about this plane. It has an extra point. You have to fold that down too or you'll have a goofy looking plane. One important thing to remember when you show this plane to all your friends, this plane does not fly. At least not very well. So if you want to look good in front of your friends, don't fly it. Do this instead. Or whatever. I have a question for you. How high can you fly in an airplane? Do you think up to the clouds? Maybe higher than the clouds? Do you think you could go all the way to heaven in an airplane? No, of course not. No plane can take us to heaven. So here's what you do. You start right at the point, and you rip the wings off. Now you can use scissors, but real men tear. I saw a real man once, that's how he did it. When you get near the bottom, you stop, turn out a little flap, and it looks like a rocket ship. Now rockets go a lot higher than airplanes. How high can you go in a rocket ship? Maybe to the moon, to another planet. You know, one time a kid told me you could go all the way to Texas. Yeah, technically I think he was right. But do you think you can make it to heaven in a rocket ship? No, the truth is there's nothing that we could build that would get us to heaven. We can't even be good enough to get to heaven. You know, all of us have broken God's law. All of us have disobeyed God. So none of us deserve to get to heaven. There's only one way we can get there. If you open this up all the way, it makes a cross. See, the only way we can get to go to heaven is through what Jesus did for us on the cross. And, of course, from here you can share in more detail about you know, what it means to make Jesus your friend and what, what his death on the cross actually means to us. Now, as you see, it's very simple. If you've watched that, you've already learned everything you need to know to present it. But there are a few tips I can do that will show you that might make it a little easier for you. One thing, if you're worried about forgetting how to fold it when you're in front of people, then beforehand just fold up your airplane then unfold it so it'll be all creased. That way, in performance, all you have to do is follow the creases. And whether you crease it or not, be sure to practice it standing up. Because if you're at a table, you can lay down just lay down on the table do things. In performance, you can't do that. And even if you have a table, it won't show up well. So I use my body to do it. But just practice it standing up, because it, it is very different. And the folds are just like before. Oops. One problem, if you have creases, you have to actually figure out which way they go, so you can follow along. Fold the top edge over to the side. Then fold the point over there, and then fold it in half, and you're there. You just fold the wings down, and you've got the airplane. Now here we come to another tip, ripping the thing in half. That looks easy, but actually it's a little harder than it looks because you actually have six layers of paper up here. So if you start at the point and tear, it can be a little bit of a challenge. So the easiest way to do that, and you, like I said, you can use scissors, doesn't matter. But the easiest way to tear it, once you get it started, it'll go. Starting is the hard part. So I just grab one flap, which is just two layers of paper, make a tear, and then start over again and do the other two. Because once one's done, the other two will go easily. And once it's started, it'll tear nice and easily. To keep it relatively straight, just make little, little tears. If you try to do one big tear, it'll get all crooked. And when you get to the bottom, you have to remember to stop before you get all the way to the bottom so you'll have fins on your rocket. So tear it out. It doesn't matter. Sometimes you end up with a big fin, sometimes little fins. It doesn't matter. If you just open up the middle fold, you're at rocket ship. 
And one final thing, opening up the cross at the end is the point where it's not uncommon for people to, to actually gasp. So you want this to just pop open. If you just kind of slowly unfold it, you'll get look at the message, but it's not very impressive looking. There's just something magical about the cross popping up, so let me show you how that works. You just hold on to only the front layer of the paper. I actually have my thumb behind these other two layers. Then all I have to do is slide my thumb up, and when it reaches the fold there, the whole thing will just pop up. And that's what, that really makes a big impression for some reason. I don't know why, but it does. Just do that. So, once you're there, you know, you're done. Just tell the kids how they can actually, what the death of Jesus means to them, how they can be friends with God. And at the same time, you've enabled them to go out and show their friends that, you know, the only way to get to heaven is through what Jesus did for you on the cross. You know, I really like this object lesson. I don't use it all the time, but I do use it occasionally. And it, it really is effective, and I hope you can use it as well. And as always, if there's anything I can do for you, please don't hesitate to let me know. Thanks.